Federal agents raid a Garden City house and arrest a man on child pornography charges, and they say Ryan Fisher is already a registered sex offender. Jermont Terry, live with how investigators made the bust in this case. Jermont? Devin, people send tweets all day long, but Fisher is accused of using his Twitter account to download vid child porn vids and images. And while that alone is disturbing, neighbors are even more furious because of something else they didn't know about. Ryan Fisher spent a lot of time online, but it's what the feds say he was doing while surfing the net that placed him in federal custody. We don't know him. We like to keep our children in the neighborhood safe. Fisher was living with family at this home on Balmoral Street in Garden City. Is this coming as a shock to you or anything? No. no, no. You don't want to make a comment? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is he out of jail yet? Yes. Court documents show Fisher used a Twitter handle, Hotshot Jenny, to upload nearly 100 child porn images. Makes me think like, wow, and I live so close to it. I live four houses down. Who would have thought? The federal probe started over a year ago. Twitter contacted authorities. The feds traced the IP address right back to this house in Garden City. Yesterday, agents moved in. We've seen cops in undercover cars and they had the garage door open. Neighbors are shocked by the arrest and to find out the 27 year old is a convicted sex offender who moved from California. When you live that close, you should be notified so that you can be made aware of it. You know, when not everybody goes on looking to see if there's a pedophile in their neighborhood. Fisher told investigators he didn't know exactly when he slipped back to looking at child porn, but it just happened. Neighbors feeling frustrated to learn he lived right across from this soccer field and public library. Children here, there's children walking the streets. It's a community center, it's not just a library. And as the federal prosecutors work on their case here at the federal courthouse, those neighbors in that Garden City neighborhood telling me tonight that they're going to try to work on a plan to be notified in the future when and if another sex offender moves into their neighborhood. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse in downtown tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4.